hello hello um it's chris so i kind of wanted to start this productivity challenge for myself because i've been feeling super 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 drained today i woke up at like 8 a.m and then i stayed in bed for three hours so it's been getting to be kind of a problem for me so what i'm going to do is set a schedule for myself and the way i'm going to keep myself accountable is doing these little daily vlog type of things to check in so what i'm going to do is set a schedule for myself and i'll let you know what i come up with okay so i've outlined the main projects that i want to get done youtube videos um designing stuff for etsy um things like sticker sticker sheets and then a design project and then art study time and I made a daily schedule just so that I don't lose track of time during the day so I've mapped out two three hour periods in which I need to work on the task for the day and I think that I want to do basically one focus on one sort of thing every day um, just to keep it cohesive because I think that if I if I try to do too many things in a day that are totally different um, it kind of messes up my flow so I want to do like all the editing on one day and then all the all the gathering reference and designing on another day and then um, all of the posting and the administrative work on another day because that takes me a really long time the the posting and description writing and um, you know tagging and everything it takes me so long so having like one day to do all of those things i think would be really good so that it's not on my mind literally like 24 7. so um that's that and then i have this little planner book it's so sparse because i never tried to decorate it um I just feel like I don't have enough time, but um, I'm going to go off this and I'm going to outline what I want to do for the week. I don't know yet because I haven't put anything into motion. I haven't decided what my design product project is going to be or what my Etsy stuff is going to be or what kinds of videos I want to be working on. So this week is just going to be a test week it's tuesday today monday i don't even know what i did i varnished okay i i did varnish some paintings um with wax and that took like an hour but literally like oof, what did i do yesterday i don't know so this is why i need to make a schedule um yeah so today i need to edit thumbnail for a video and then edit photos, and then test print those photos. Okay, so today I made some new test prints of the paintings that I did in April. And I think the colors are really dark. So I'm going to need to fix those, but I'm going to do this tomorrow because it is 4.40 and I'm so tired. Uh, I'm gonna go for a walk and then I'm going to rest. Yee. Okay, so since I have all these paintings, um, I thought that I might need to varnish them in order to just keep them safe um, for future purposes if I ever want to sell them or um, you know I don't want them to get damaged if I'm going to keep them for a long time and I do keep most of my artwork um, for quite a while especially if they're like painted finished pieces like this um, so the issue with these gouache paintings is they're a wet medium um, like watercolor and if you tried to apply like a liquid varnish or a spray, um, there's a chance that it could um, re-wet and get, get all messy and ruined. So I found that you can seal these with 
a wax medium and this is the wax medium that I have um, from Gamblin and I only used like a little bit it wasn't even like all the way up to the top so yeah and I applied it with like a little cotton cotton um, cotton round and so I let them dry overnight and I think that they should be dry I did try scraping my nail on it and it did um, come off a little bit but other than that it should be waterproof and the the video I was watching said that if you poured some some water on it that it should beat up and roll right off like it's um like it's waterproof so let's try that Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so I have a bunch more that I need to seal and I bought some I bought some more wax medium. Um I think is better than this gambling one because that's the one that the the other artist used. I forgot the name. It started with a D. But uh, I think that one might dry better because this one is, is for oils specifically. So since oils have a very slow dry time, I think this wax might also have a very slow um, dry or hardened time. But it, it feels okay. It feels like, um, oh my god, freaking... What are they doing? They're using like like a saw grinder or something outside i do not know but um it feels tacky like um like an oil painting that is just barely dry so i'm gonna leave these to dry in a very loose stack so they don't stick together but i don't think i don't think they're gonna stick together because they don't feel sticky in that way they feel like you know waxy Yesterday, in addition to um, waxing the, the gouache paintings that I did, um, I also varnished these cloud paintings. Um, these are acrylic on canvas panel. I'll put a link for the exact kind of canvas panel that I used because I think it's really, really nice. And this is the varnish that I used. I don't know if i want to continue using this one because it is a permanent varnish which means you cannot take it off and i would rather have something to that that you can take off in the future because varnish is um a protective coating and and it will like over time it's going to get that like yellow yellowing effect from all of the like dust and dirt in the air and when you watch those like restorative um videos they're t they're stripping the varnish off and the paint underneath is super clean so they will add another coat of varnish and it will preserve the the painting for another hundred years um so i'm just trying to use this up i this one is on gesso board. You can barely see the, the logo. Gesso board, um, and it's a super smooth board. I really like it, but you can see the varnish kind of like it, it gathered up and so it's not super smooth. So in the future, I will, will not be varnishing these. I just wanted to see um, what would happen. So I, did, I varnished these two gesso boards, but I did not varnish like this one so it's super matte there's a little bit of sh but yeah i i like the matte way more than um any kind of varnish even if you use matte varnish it's going to have a little bit of shine um which i don't like but i know that um consumers like the idea of varnish um because it it preserves it for one thing um but i also feel like non-artists tend to like um like glossy or varnished paintings more than matte and that um artists tend to like the matte look of the painting rather than you know adding uh, an oil coat an oil coating or a varnish which is a, a weird a weird juxtaposition to me mm, but anyway i think the instructions on this say what did they say apply at least two thin coats um, and I applied one yesterday, so I think, you know, since I've already done it, um, I'll just add another one. 
it is kind of patchy, so that's why you add two coats, I think. It is done. So what I'm gonna do now is cover it, and that's so dust doesn't get get on it from from above. Um, I don't know if this is gonna hold. It should be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I should have been wearing gloves. Um, but it's fine. Uh, it's not fine. Wear gloves when you are applying permanent varnishes like this okay and then i'm just gonna wait for these to uh dry and then i will pack them up hello misty Hello, hello. Um, this is Chris, and today is Saturday the 22nd. I have a lot to do today, and a friend is coming over to drop off some stuff, so I got a little bit pretty. Um, today I'm going to be enrolling in summer classes, hopefully. We'll see. It's kind of like a race to get there. Um, and I'm going to be doing some studies in preparation for a zine that I'm making. And um, well, that's basically it. But it seems like a lot. Um, yesterday I did a lot as well. I bought a bunch of stuff for the shop. Um, I bought a label printer and a, a real guillotine paper cutter and I'm super stoked for those to get there. Um, and when those come, I will be doing a unboxing video for, 
for for the YouTubes, um, because that's what people like, right? <laughs> um, uh, I wanted to show you the how the I lost it. how the um, varnishing went for the these canvas panels. After I finished the Liquitex one, I used this Gamvar satin one because I ran out of the Liquitex. And then look, there's like no shine at all. It's super matte. In comparison to one of these Liquitex ones, you can really see the difference. Let me put them side by side. Look at that. What? I had no idea it was going to turn out like this. Um, I don't know which one I like better this kind of feels feels weird it's not even like um the original matte the original um without any varnish at all acrylic still has a little bit of shine to it but this is just super super matte like i don't even think they should call this a satin maybe it was the properties of the two different varnishes coming together because one was a liquitex brand and one was a, a gamblin brand so yeah but that was a very cool little experiment i'm wondering how it would turn out if i only used the gambar satin um but we'll have to wait until i make more paintings to varnish and see um but i'm definitely taking a note of this because it's super weird i've never seen a varnish do this in my life like spray on varnishes don't have much shine um if you're spraying them on like graphite or pastel or charcoal. This is a liquid varnish, like zero shine. It is 11.52 and I'm waiting for the Concept Design Academy store to open so that I can enroll for the class. Uh, I always get really nervous doing these things because um, it is kind of like a race to get there and there's very limited seats and this class is a very um popular class to take so i hope that i get in um if i don't i don't have a backup um we shall see it's 11:59. wait one more minute i'm just like staring at the clock I probably didn't need to be that nervous or anxious. Um, I'm glad it's done. Yeah, the class that I signed up for is this background design for animation with Kong Le, $800. My big order from Blix finally came, so let's do a little unboxing. I kind of forgot what I got. Um, I think I got this pencil. This pris one singular Prismacolor pencil. Do to try it out. It's um Oh my god. I wish their packaging was like less like this. <laughs> less plastic. But 
and I got it in indigo blue um, just to try it out because that's what one of my instructors used before. What is this? What did I get? Oh, was this supposed to go in here? Why did I get a, a random box? Okay, well that's weird. Um, got a small tube of Winsor & Newton designer gouache um, to supplement my acrylic gouache. I think um, going forward I'm going to get more Winsor & Newton colors. Um, and then I got this... Oh, where is the label? Whoop! Dorland's Wax Medium to seal my gouache paintings and make them waterproof. And then I got this animation paper to to do my sketches on because it's supposed to be super, super, super smooth. And then a bunch of these gessoed hardboards because I think they're going they're going to be discontinued. Um, so they were super cheap on Blix. So I bought a bunch. Let's see how many I got. So this is a six pack of six by six. So that's 12. It's another six. That's 18. I can do math. And then this is another six. Six times four. I have 24 panels. How much did I spend? Um, unit price for each gesso pack was like seven dollars. So they're a little over a dollar each for a panel. I think. Yeah. And that's not too bad. That's not. That's not bad at all. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm going to use this box for storage maybe or for inventory probably since i'm going to have a lot of inventory soon make a thumbnail <laughs> this is like the smallest haul ever this costs like 50 hold on i can i have the receipt right here this costs 58 dollars after tax so, <laughs> art supplies are pretty expensive. The most expensive thing on this list was the animation paper. Uh, of course, this is 100 sheets of paper and it costs $10. Um, so that is, what? Oh wait, uh, 10 divided by, is that 10 cents per sheet? <laughs> Let me, is it? I'm not sure. Uh, editing me, put the actual price per paper <laughs> per sheet. On, on the screen because I can't do mental math. Okay, I'm gonna go put these away. So thank you for watching my May studio vlog. Um, I got my second COVID vaccine yesterday, so I took the day off. Luckily, I didn't get um, a, a huge amount of symptoms or um, had to go to the hospital or anything. So we are all good over here um i bought a bunch of stuff for the shop um so next vlog i'll probably do another sort of yeah. unboxing video um hopefully there'll be a lot more asmr -y stuff um because i'm going to be making a bunch of stuff for my next store launch um i mean <laughs> i'm going to be making a bunch of stuff for my like next store drop which is going to be June 15th. I think I'm going to be having drops every 15th maybe until I get a good amount of stock and then I'll space it out a lot. So yeah, um, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!